Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Python game programming tutorial series. In this uh, tutorial we're gonna learn about how to spawn blocks. Um, basically we're gonna spawn blocks to the screen. All right? So I'm gonna start by going um, on the top left corner right click and create a new class and we're gonna call it block. Let's uh, import Pygame as always. Let's uh, define our class as block. And let's just uh, create our initializer. And we're going to do the exact same thing as with paddle. So you can copy pretty much all of these arguments and paste them in. So that's uh, pretty much it for the initializer. Now I'm just gonna explain uh, briefly how I'm gonna go about to spawn the blocks. So let's say this is our game window and we have uh, this which is the width of our um, screen and we already created a variable for this and it's called screen width. So we already have a volley for this. Now when I'm gonna spawn my blocks, they're gonna look something like this. I want them to be all uh, next one to another and I want them to fill the entire width. So to determine the width of each individual block all we got to do is divide the entire width by the number of blocks so basically if we have like a width of 200 and we have four blocks then each block would have a width of 50. that's the basic principle of um just to get the width of each block and so i'm gonna actually Go ahead and go back to our uh, PyCharm uh, project and let's import our block block uh, class. Let's initialize. Let's start by creating uh, blocks. So I want an array of block. I, I, I don't want a single block. I want multiple blocks. And now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to define something called block width and a variable called n. n would be the number of blocks. Let's say I want 10 blocks. The block width would simply be equal to the screen width divided by n, as we explained earlier. So that would give us a width of 128 per block, since our screen width is 1,280. Now that we have defined this, we can basically create a for loop to instantiate all these blocks and just um, and put them into the array. So for that, I'm going to create a for loop for i in, or just create x for x in range. So we already used um, this in a previous tutorial. If I said x in range of 10, it would go all the way from 0 to 10. But that's not what we want. If we look, if we look at the argument, we can see that it says start, stop, and step. So that's really helpful. So we can say we want to start at 0. We want to go all the way to screen width. And we want to jump by... Um, the block width. So what this would do is it would say, okay, first is zero, then 128, then 256, and it would keep on adding the block width all the way to the screen width. So all the way to 1280. So what we can do now is simply say block, which is our array, dot append so we just add an element 
and what I want to add is a block object so simply say block okay uh, to avoid confusion I'm gonna add an s here so we want blocks dot append so we add a block dot block and for the X we're gonna put in the X X position would be the X the Y I'm just gonna hard code 50 for now the width is the block width and the height let's just create another variable called block height and let's just set that to the width divided by 2 so the height would be block height so here I'm just gonna define another function we'll call it uh, simply draw just like in paddle we have draw in blocks we will also have a draw function and uh, just like before we need a display and we're gonna say by game dot draw dot rect so we're drawing a rectangle on the display the color let's just say it's Let's just go on Google and search for a nice um, blue color. So let's just say color picker. Let's say this. Now for the X position would be simply, let's just say self dot x self dot y would position y would be the position x would be for the start x position y for the start y the width would be self dot width and the height would be self dot height so now all we have to do is go here after we draw our player we move our player then uh, we'll simply loop for every element in our blocks array so the length use the function called len for the length of blocks our array of blocks so for every block what I want to do is say um, block element i dot draw dot draw and we're just gonna pass in the display now let's run this and we get an error okay so it says uh, it needs integers so all we have to do is cast these two integers both of them um, by adding an int and a parenthesis so now whenever we we run it you can see that it draws uh, our rectangles the only problem is we can't see we can't see them because they're all stacked up together so first of all, I'm gonna do is gonna change that color because it's a bit annoying. It's not what I was uh, looking for. Simply go here and change that parameter. Okay, so it's already a bit better like this. Okay, whenever I'm creating these blocks, instead of creating it at the X position I am just going to shift that by let's say 2 and the width I'm gonna like remove 2 from the width so whenever I do that we can see that we can distinguish between each um, block
Okay, so now what I want to do is create multiple columns of blocks. So for that, I will have to create another for loop. Let's say for y, in this case it's the y, in range of 3. But instead of uh, setting the value to 3, I'm just going to create another variable called m3. m is basically the number of columns. Now we will have a loop that goes from 0 to 2 because uh, that's what it means. It never goes to 3. It starts with 0, zero then it goes to 1, then 2. So, And for each time, I am going to create a block um, at z uh, x0, x128, x156, all the way to 1,280. To each time I switch columns, I want to restart this for loop. So that's why I put this one inside of this one. Now instead of, of hard coding it to 50, because if I do this, it's just going to create three layers at the exact same Y position. And I don't want to do that. So since Y is increasing each time I am changing um, column, all I, all I got to do is say Y plus 1. Because it starts to 0, I want it to start at 1, then 2, then 3. For this, it goes from 0, 1, 2. So by adding 1, it will be 1, 2, 3. I want to multiply by the block height. So if since the block height is six, uh, 64, when y will be equal to 0, then it's going to draw it at 64. When y will be equal to 1, then it's going to draw it at uh, 128. When y is equal uh, to 2, then it's going to draw it at 192. Now, I'm going to do the exact same thing as uh, before. I'm going to add an offset of 2 and subtract 2 from the height just so we can distinguish between each um, layer or each column. Now when I run it, you can see the grid and it um, created every block according to our algorithm. So it worked properly. Now in the next tutorial we're going to start the ball and uh, we're going to dive in into the ball movement and the vector math and everything that has to do with that. So thank you for watching this uh, tutorial and I'll see you in the next tutorial.